Hello, I am Susan, and welcome to the Fulton Public Library. So thank you for joining me for this class of Healthy Hearts. And we're going to be doing some aerobic activity. We're going to be doing some walking and some kickboxing. So I'm going to tell you to please put some shoes on because we're going to be having some impact today. Also, we're going to be moving. If I'm on a carpet. If you're on a carpet at home, pick up your feet. You want to be mindful of not catching your toe on the carpet. I do not want your hip, ankles, or feet strained in any way. So please be mindful of your surface. Check your room forward and back, side to side. We're going to be moving a little bit in every direction. You're going to get your heart moving because this is Healthy Hearts Month, yes? Please also get some water because as we're exercising, I'm going to be talking to you and talking to you about how to make your heart healthy. And a way to do that is to stay hydrated, get plenty of water each day, get plenty of water when you exercise. So please take a minute, get some water, put your shoes on, check your space. I'm waiting for you. I'm giving you just another minute. And then come on back and we'll make our hearts healthy. And I'm so glad you joined me. Yes, I bet you've already guessed. What's, what is one major way we make our hearts healthy? We move. We move at a pace that gets our hearts heart rate up about 60 to 80 percent. Any higher than that, you would have difficulty talking to me or to someone you're exercising with. And you can have your heart rate that high, but only for short periods of time. That would be like a sprinter, a runner, an interval in an interval training. But it's not recommended that your heart rate is that high for a long period of exercise. But 60 to 70 percent above your resting is what is what is recommended. All right, so we're gonna drink water. We're gonna exercise at a moderate pace. Are you moving? Are you marching? And you probably know you also have a healthy heart by having a healthy diet. And you know that's my plate. Any of you who've seen my plate, if you haven't, you can go to the Food Bank website and look at that. My plate talks about healthy portions. And all of the food groups, our dairies, our grains, our fruits, our vegetables. Although always check with your doctor before you make any, any change to your diet because you want to make sure that it's the healthiest for you. So I would recommend doing that. And in fact, that's good advice too for healthy hearts, yes? If you haven't talked to your doctor in a while, you probably should, especially at the beginning of this new year. Make an appointment, check in with any questions that you have, and get healthy in 2022. All right, let's go forward and back. One, two, three, and back. As I'm talking to you too, because I wanna make sure that you are thinking about being healthy, making a healthy heart. Yes, we talked about having enough water, moving at a moderate pace, following a healthy diet, and talking to our doctors. Yes. Can anybody think of another way to have a healthy heart? How about kindness and wellness? Mm -hmm. Can we be kind to our hearts? Yes. Can we do activities we enjoy that keep us healthy emotionally? Our emotional health? Yep. Can we surround ourselves with positive people? that make our hearts feel healthy? Yes. Finding positive people to connect with that we trust. Mm -hmm. Our social connections, very important for healthy hearts. So remember those friends on Valentine's Day and thank them. Thank them for their support and how you treasure them well as they treasure you. Okay. This is walking back and forth. We're starting 
to move. <laughs> and maybe today, after you move some of that snow, you may want to walk outside. I do see the sun trying to come out. Just think, healthy heart, every day this month. Amazing. 
come forward and back again. Here. Have a great day, have a healthy day, and I will see you soon.